What's up guys? It's Albert from Muffin Group. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to use Advanced Custom Fields plugin along with Bfim and Builder, as they are compatible for a long time. If you're a fan of this plugin and want to use it with Bfim, I'm sure you will like what I'm about to show you. So let's jump right in. Like said, Bfim, its builder and ACF are compatible for a long time and their use of together is extremely simple and quick. This video is to show you how to use custom fields with builder, so I won't discuss the plugin itself here. Let's say I already installed free version of this plugin and I'm going to add custom field. In the first step, ACF asks me to create field group. Let's create it by clicking add new button. First, we need to name the group of fields. I'm gonna name it prices. And next step, I have to fill necessary fields. I'm gonna create plain text field, but you can create any other type of field as there is plenty of them to use. Field label will be price. Field name is created automatically based on field label, but you can change it of course if you like to own. And default value, I'm going to leave empty as I don't need it right now. Underneath, we have settings and location rules that has to be set as well. As I want to use my custom field for portfolio items, I'm going to choose post type is equal to portfolio item. I can push save changes button now to save my group of fields. From now on, at the bottom of the addition of each item of the portfolio, it will be possible to define value for price custom field. Let's type 99 for example. Now. Let's edit portfolio item with the BA Builder. As you can see on the screen, there is few different places with just dollar currency where I would like to show price based on custom field for ACF. What I want to do now is populate each field with price custom field I've already created. For that, go to the settings of each element and in the field where dynamic tags are allowed, I have to type open curly bracket ACF, colon, price, and closing curly bracket. Yes, this is exactly the way of how to use ACF custom fields with the B Builder. So it's always like open curly bracket, ACF, colon, and the field name created in ACF plugin, and the closing curly bracket at the end. If you didn't watch the video about dynamic tags yet, I will leave you the link in the left top corner right now, so you can watch it anytime you like, as it's a very powerful feature that lets you bring more dynamic stuff into your content. Now, by clicking outside of this field, the builder will convert ACF tag to defined value. So, as you can see, using ACF with builder is extremely simple and does not require any technical knowledge from you. From now on, if for some reason you decide that you want to change the price, all you have to do is go to the edit page, change the value for that custom field and update page. Thanks to this solution, you can change the price in one place and it will automatically change on the website, wherever it was used as a dynamic tag. ACF plugin is much more advanced than what I presented here, but like said, my goal was just to show you how to use custom fields defined in ACF with the B Builder. I hope this video will allow you to bring more dynamics to your content from now on and using both tools together will be much more enjoyable. If you like this video, I suggest to watch another video where I spoken about 8 tips and tricks which you might not have known so far but can greatly improve your workflow. And as always, thanks for watching. And remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. And if you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.